Hey, what is up you guys? In this video, I'm gonna give you a list of five hot products that you should sell this July. Let's get started. So guys, this is the first product that we're gonna talk about in this video, these amazing women's sandals. Now they're from Ecomon, as you can see. I'm gonna use Ecomon for quite a few products in this video because it's an amazing tool that helps you find winning products to dropship. Click the first link in the description to check us out. You will not regret it. Now, this product came into our research team radar like one week ago, that's why it was posted because that's where it started gaining some traction. Let's check out the Aliexpress. Now, as you can see, they are pretty cheap indeed, like eight, nine dollars. And let's check out Ecomon to see what's the recommended price. It's like forty dollars. It's a really good profit margin for such a product, and you cannot go wrong with it because the sizes are pretty clear, and they only have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sizes. So it basically covers everything. The shipping is also pretty cheap. It's like three dollars to US, so there's plenty of room to play with your profits. Let's check out the picture that they are providing us. So they are providing us with lots of cool pictures and high quality quality pictures that you could use on your store uh, and there are some reviews that you could use as well as for the targeting for this product I went with only women as a gender of course this is a women's product and for detail targeting I've chosen Zara because that's the biggest retailer in the world in the fashion industry I narrowed that down to H&M I narrowed that down to forever 21 and I narrowed that down to Bershka why did I chose these brands it's pretty easy if you do a Google search you'll find out that these brands are the top tier when it comes to the fashion industry. They are the biggest and well-known fashion producers and accessory producers that especially target younger people for middle class, middle age, middle income, something like that. And basically, if you target this, you'll get a huge array of customers. And to top it off, you'll get only women for your targeting. You know, if you do this, you should get a targeting of around 1 million uh, audience. That's perfect to try an ABO and to play around with these interests. Of course, you can always try other interests. You can always play with other big brands like this, but I just gave you an example. This should take you to 1 million and you're basically covering everything because these are the biggest brands in the world when it comes to fashion industry that's correlated to young people and, and fashion in generally. This is the next product that we're gonna talk about. Of course, your boy has already ordered this product. I absolutely love the idea. Uh, I ordered it for my mom because she has a lot of cats and uh, I cannot wait for it to come. Now, this is a product that you basically stick on your window and your cats can just chill there on, on their little hammock and just 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 chill you know just be a cat as for targeting for this product i went with everybody not only women i went with cats and i narrowed that down to friskies prina one and whiskas these are brands that are producing cat food and if you are targeting these companies that are making cat food it means that you are targeting somebody who buys that cat food and only a cat owner can buy food for a cat this is a really simple audience that you can use on any cat owner and as you can see it's like 1 million 1.5 million and that's an amazing audience size for any ABO and you can try these out you can combine them until you find something right for you next up we have this cute outdoor metal owl decoration I absolutely love this I mean I'm amazed every year these people come with something different with something nice I I really love these products that just come out every year and they are all original they are all different as for targeting, I was thinking of something like really easy, go with garden and narrow it down to home and garden because that's like a magazine. And you're basically targeting people who own gardens, who like gardens, who are interested in gardens, and that's where you wanna go. The audience size is close to two million, so we're really good. You can try an ABO, you can also try the campaign budget optimization on this one and see where does it get you. The next product that we're gonna talk about is this inflatable mattress right here. As you can see, you can fit it in the palm of your hand. Now, this is a product that's dedicated to campers. I am one of them, I didn't like camping, but when I first went out camping, I absolutely fell in love with it, and ever since, I'm regularly going out and this is a product that I would totally use the price of this product is $26 and a $3 shipping price to the US so that's like $30 you could easily sell this for like two times the retail price and I think that like $69 would be a perfect price for this product because this helps you sleep actually they have some interesting pictures let's scroll a bit down uh, you have some dimensions in here, some descriptions, blah, blah, blah. But they have these pictures that you can use on your store uh, that shows how well you can use the product, how well you can reduce the pressure, uniform force support, relax your shoulders and neck. 
and you really need those when you are out camping. The pitches that these guys provide are amazing. I would totally use this on my store. I would even use some of these for my ads because they are basically showing you what the product does. As for targeting for this product, I went with camping because that's the main thing that you want to target. I narrowed it down to traveling because there are a lot of travelers who also like camping. So you want to take both of those. And the third one is Columbia Sportswear. I picked Columbia because that's one of the biggest companies that are, are making camping shoes and camping clothes overall and who likes Columbia basically likes uh, camping and traveling and all of those. You can always hit suggestions button and Facebook will give you similar companies such as North Face, Patagonia, Jack Wolfskin, REI, Arcteryx and other companies that are in the same realm. And you can narrow it down, you can define further until you find an audience size that you're comfortable with. And after that, you know the drill, you can try a CBO with the big audience or you can try to break it down into smaller audiences and try an ABO with each and every one of them until you find something that works for you. I highly encourage you to try this product out because it's an amazing product with huge potential. And the final product for this video is this product right here. It's basically an inflatable toy that you can play with and it, it sprays you with water. It's really Really good for for really warm days the price of this product is pretty good it's 21 dollars. i don't know what's wrong with the shipping i checked this product yesterday it was like five dollars and something i think it's a, an error on their part but never mind you can always use a, a fulfillment agency such as uh, s pocket or cj drop shipping or something like that or you can always look for new products just like this one there are plenty of them on aliexpress and they all have like fair shipping prices it should be like between five and ten dollars so you can play with that as for targeting, I was thinking of two different ways to do this. The first of all and the most accurate is this one. Just write children age here and it will give you demographics. You can actually target parents of children between the age of X and Y and you can, uh, you can have that X and Y whatever you want to. Think about this product. It will be used by children between the age of three and seven, I would say, because if they are younger than three, uh, it will be too dangerous for them. If, if they are older than seven, it's too lame for them. So you gotta go with between three and seven. You gotta target parents that have children between the age of three and seven. And the other way I was thinking is to just uh, target uh, by the age. You should think about what is the age of the parents who have children between the age of three and seven. And I would go with like 25 to 35, something around that. That's not as accurate, but it's something. That was it for this video, guys. You'll get a link in the description of every product that I mentioned. So check them out. Make sure to have an amazing week and see you next time.